everyone and welcome to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make an ARK Survival Evolved server on your own computer. Now I will mention, this is a pretty freaking strenuous process and it's a lot easier to just go buy a server that's going to be up for 24 hours. It's not going to be hosted on your own computer and all that stuff with your own computer resources and on your own IP address which you can get DDoS taken offline, all of that stuff. So, it's much easier to just go to thebreakdown.xyz slash ARK servers, first link down below, and get yourself an amazing game server uh, for ARK, and just play and play and play, and just give a few dollars a month, and be able to play as much as you want without having to worry about it being on your own computer, and you having to be in the game, all that stuff. It's just up and running, it doesn't use anything from your computer except, I guess, you playing ARK. But, if that's not what you want, let's go ahead and uh, get your ARK server up and running. So first off, we want to go to the second link down below, and that's going to take you here to the Steam CMD, where we want to scroll down until we see this link, download Steam CMD for Windows, click on that, it then downloads a zip folder, which we can then open up, and drag Steam CMD to our desktop. Once it's on our desktop, we want to create a new folder, and just title it Steam CMD, or Steam whatever, it doesn't matter what you title the folder drag Steam CMD into it and then we want to create a new text document so new text document you can just leave it titled new text document open it up and then go to the description down below there'll be two weird looking things to batch files we want to go to the first one which will be this one right here it's gonna have at echo start and then some quotation marks Steam CSD login username password all of that stuff. What you need to know here is that your username and password need to be replaced with your own Steam username and password. I do want to mention something else here as well. What you need to do is come over here into your Steam CMD, right click on this, copy address as text, come over here and in between these quotes you need to paste your Steam CMD. If you don't do that, it, uh, it won't do this correctly and truthfully on the end of this you actually need to add a backslash Right, so you need to add a backslash and then just name this whatever you want. You can name it Arc Server or something like that if you want. That'll be fine. And then now you can input your username and password and save the file. When you're going to save the file, by the way, what you need to do is make sure that you save it as like arc.bat or something like that. Make sure it is saved as a .bat there. And then you want to save it as all files. Both of those are extremely important that it says .bat and all files and then click save and with that you are good to go. You've got your Steam CMD ready to run. So we can do that by just double clicking on Arc here. It will then download, do some things and eventually ask us to verify via Steam Guard. So as you can see here it is asking for a Steam Guard code after it's generated a ton of files and just let it run there into the jump cut. And it has generated a ton of files and it's asking for a Steam Guard code which you can get via your email. Once you verify via Steam Guard, it'll go through, finish downloading the rest of the information, and then uh, you'll be good to go. I will also say that this is a huge file, 14 gigabytes, so it's probably going to take uh, quite a bit of time to download. But we can see the ARC server here and that it's, uh, it's started to do it. So when it's done, I will uh, meet you guys and uh, finish this process. So after about 17,532,000,000 years, your download will be done. And once it's done, we can go into ARC server here, the ARC server folder that was created. We can then go into shooter game, and then we want to go into binaries, and then win 64. And here is actually where your server is hosted. In this, we want to create a, yet again a new text document. Just leave it titled new text document, and then open it. Then there's a second batch file down below. You can go down there, copy that, and you'll want to paste this. Once you've done that, you want to file, save as, and then you can do like run server.bat. And then you want to again save it as all files and then click save and then we can close out of this and here's our run server batch file we can double click on that and it will should go ahead and run the server we're gonna have to allow access to that now it's going to error out and the reason for that it's not gonna let us through is because we've not port forwarded to do that we need to go back to our browser here and then we need to go to our default gateway. To get your default gateway, you need to open command prompt. To do that, hit the Windows key, type in CMD, and then right click on command prompt there and run it as an administrator. Then type IPCONFIG, IP config, hit enter, and you'll have your default gateway here. Take that default gateway and type it in your browser. Mine's 192. 
1.168.0.1. It'll then open up a login box exactly like this, where you'll need your router username and password. You can get that by going to the third link down below, finding the type of router you have, clicking find password, finding the model number, and then typing in the username and password over here. I'm gonna go ahead, log into my router, and I'll meet you guys on the other side. Once you're logged into your router, you want to look for virtual servers, forwarding, port forwarding, something like that. So for me, it's under forwarding and then virtual servers. For you, it's probably under something completely different, but that is perfectly okay. You can go to the fourth link down below and it's setuprouter.com where you can find your router's manual, go into that, and then see how to port forward. So just go in here, click on this, Go to the kind of router you have, and then the manual will be there. Nevertheless, when you port forward, it's pretty simple. You need an add a port forward for the port 27015 for both internal and external part, port, or service port and internal port. For your IP address, this is actually going to be your IPv4 address, which if we go back to command prompt and type in IP config again, we will be able to get mine is 192. 168.0.120 for protocol you want it to be TCP slash UDP all or both I'm going to be all and then we can just hit save then saves that port forward we then want to do that again for the port 27016 we can then do the internal port 27016 IP address the same both TCP and UDP on all there and then click save the port forwarding is done. Now we can go ahead and launch up the server again with this run server thing, right? This run server batch file. Click on that, it'll go through, and then when you say time to start up server, right? When you see that, your server is officially up and running. It may take four or five minutes sometimes to get the server up and running, but once it is, we can go over to our browser, go to arc servers.net and the server will be listed here it'll also be listed on arcs main game directory so um, yeah anyone and everyone can get your IP address and all that and join your server um, there are ways to make private servers as well as password protected servers there's info on how to do that down below in the description but what we're gonna be doing here is sorting by server name and then we're gonna go look for the breakdown so our, our server name is breakdown test server right so we're going to find that, and uh, once we do, we'll be good to go. I'll see you guys in a bit when I've clicked through a ton of different pages. And there we have it, Breakdown Test Server. The server is now up and running. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. We haven't already make awesome videos every single day. If you do have any issues in making an ARC server, let us know down below. But honestly, the easiest way to get an ARC server is just to go spend a little money and buy one. Luckily, we do have a solution for you. It is linked down below, first link down below to get an awesome ARC server. Purchase it, spend a little bit of money, and be able to play as much as you want on any game mode you want, all of that stuff. Go check it out. Anyway, again, this has been The Breakdown. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm out, guys. Peace.